Instead of doing 75 hard, what if I told you that you could achieve your fat loss goals with just a few simple changes to your lifestyle? You'd probably say, yeah, fucking right. The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, is a theory that states that 80% of the results from a given situation is determined by 20% of the input. Sounds like a fucking bargain to me, especially in this economy. Now, this is for the people who want to look better in their swimsuits this summer, or maybe next summer, because let's be honest, we're cutting it a little close at this point. Or for the person who wants to be able to fit into those fucking sweet velvet pants that you bought a few years ago, but you no longer fit into. Now, this advice isn't for the the bodybuilders who are achieving levels of leanness. That would be absolutely fatal if they got even just like a single paper cut. Those people with those goals are gonna have to do a little bit more. But for everyone else trying to transform into the hottest and most physically attractive versions of themselves without turning this into a full-time job, then this advice is for you. So what's the 20% that you should focus on? I'm glad you asked. Nutrition, strength training, and sleep. That's it. If you nail those things long enough, then you're gonna get to your goal, I promise you. Now, when talking about nutrition, you don't need to go keto, carnivore, or vegan. Remember, we're trying to do less, not more. More here. So every meal should have protein, fiber, and be mostly whole foods. If you do that most of the time, then you should have no problem eating pizza or burger tacos some of the time. That's the goal here. And when we're talking about fat loss and the Pareto principle, we could honestly stop right here. Nutrition is more like the 95-5 rule because you're going to see such disproportionate results from your efforts if you focus the majority of your fat loss efforts here on nutrition, but it's not as sexy as the latest and greatest fitness challenge or trend, so people don't do it or think that it'll have the impact that it does. Now moving on to strength training. So while strength training won't directly do much to help speed up fat loss or lose the fat itself, but it does something that nothing else on this list can do as well as strength training does, and that's stimulating muscle growth. Because you see, you can eat all the protein and all the vegetables and lose a shitload of fat, but the end result is going to be just a smaller, daintier, more fragile you. And my guess is that you don't just want to lose some flab on your hips or your arms or your neck, but you also want to have some muscle to look toned, ripped, jacked, or whatever adjective (laughs) suits your aesthetics desires most. You need strength training to stimulate muscle growth. So following some sort of plan that incorporates a squat, a deadlift, some single leg work, pushing and pulling is what you want to go for here. And aiming to train two to four days per week is going to be enough for most people. Remember, we're trying to do less, not more here. And if you want a more detailed take on strength training, comment below and I'll make a video on that. And lastly, we have sleep. So sleep is the goat when it comes to losing fat, building muscle, and just feeling fucking good. If doctors could sell a prescription that gave you the effects of eight plus hours of consistent quality sleep, it would be the most popular drug in the history of the world. Just ask anyone who used to sleep like shit and started taking their sleep seriously. Sleep, it's like the ultimate multiplier effect on your health health and fitness, but it is so slept on. For quantity, you want to aim for like seven plus hours at least. More if you can, the more the better. And for better quality, I like to use things like blackout curtains, an eye mask, nasal strips, and mouth tape if I'm feeling extra devious. That's it. If you were to only focus on these things, then you would most definitely lose a shitload of fat without ever having to make an Instagram post with hashtag 75 hard on it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, you know what to do.